In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make an animated subscribe logo that looks like this using nothing but CapCut. Tap on the plus sign to open a new project, tap photos to bring up all your photos and choose a random photo. Since CapCut does not have a blank video clip, you need to create one. Once your photo's loaded into your project, swipe over and tap on format from the main toolbar. Once the photo is formatted, select the photo, swipe over and tap on the opacity icon. Adjust the slider down to zero so the background appears black. Tap on the check mark. You need to change the color of the background to green. Choose canvas and then color. Select any green color you want. That one looks good. Now export this out as a video clip. It will be three seconds long since that's the default photo duration. Next, tap on color one more time. Swipe over and choose the color of your subscribe graphic. I'm going to use red, so I'll select red. Just tap on the color to select it. And then export it out once more. Now you've got two video clips that are essentially colored squares. Next, you'll want to add the green video clip you created. In Once you're done this, you can go ahead and delete your photo because you'll no longer need it. From the main timeline, select overlay and then add overlay. Choose your red colored square. Move it into position underneath your green graphic. Position your red overlay so that it takes up the entire preview area like this. Use a mask to create certain shapes like rectangles. Select your overlay once it's in position. Swipe over and tap on mask. The film strip mask works the best. You can see you've got in, out, and combo. If I select my in animation, If you go to create the out animation of a shape, you might notice a problem. Let me show you. Tap on out to select your out animation and choose the opposite of whatever animation you chose. The out animation has been set. Watch what happens if I play the graphic. The out animation works, but the in animation doesn't. That with shapes, you can have either an in or an out animation, but not both. So I'll remove the out animation and show you the workaround that I use to create this simple animated subscribe logo. You want to select your green screen clip, swipe over and tap on copy. This should make a copy of your main clip and place it right next to the original like this, essentially giving you two clips. Then select your overlay, swipe over and tap on copy once more. This will create a copy of your overlay. Now you can have both an in animation and an out animation. Select the first overlay. Swipe over and tap on animation once more. You're going to apply the in animation to your original overlay. Choose whichever one you like. I'll tap on slide right. This will set the animation. Tap the check mark. Next, select the copy of your overlay. Tap on animation once more, and this time instead of in, select out. As you can see, both animations work. Don't worry if it's a little choppy. When you render it out, it should play normally. The next step is to go back to the main timeline and add some text to your animation. You want to make sure that the red box appears on screen so that you can fit the text properly. Tap on text 
and type in the word subscribe. If you want to change the font, tap where it says font and choose the font that you like. This one looks good. If you choose a big font like this, you might need to make adjustments to the size of the text. Pinch and zoom once more so that your text fits inside the red rectangle. Tap on the check mark once you're done. That looks great. You have to animate the text to match the animation of the red box behind it. Select your text layer like it is now and make sure it lines up perfectly with the animated box and the green screen panel behind it. Tap on animation, select your animation and tap it to choose it. Then tap on the check mark once you're done. Now you need to make sure that the text layer lines up with your graphic layers. If your animation doesn't work properly the first time, the first thing you want to check is where it says in, out, and loop to make sure that the proper animation is selected. Choose an animation. Now both the in and out animations are set. Tap on the check mark. You can scrub through your clips or play them to see how it looks. Notice that both animations are working with both the text and the box. I'm scrubbing through the footage slowly. Scrub through your footage slowly to make sure that your animation lines up properly. Make adjustments to the text layer as needed. Both animations are working. Tap on the export icon to export the entire video. But before you do, you should play it one more time just to make sure the animation looks the way you want it to. Once the export's complete, you'll find your exported video inside your camera roll. Here's another project I'm working on. Add your exported subscribe logo as an overlay. Make sure your overlay is formatted properly. It should be the same format as your video project. Once that's done, then you can shrink it down and position it where you want to. You need to select your overlay, like it is now, swipe over and tap on chroma key. This will remove the green background, leaving your subscribe logo animated properly and the video behind it. Don't forget, once you select your green color, it doesn't disappear right away. You need to turn up the intensity just until the green color disappears like this. Now you're able to resize your subscribe logo properly. This is what your subscribe logo should look like when it's finished. If the animation is too slow, because you rendered the subscribe logo out as it's own video overlay. You can select the overlay once more, tap on speed, tap on normal, you don't want to use the curve in this case, move the slider to 2x. This animation is 6 seconds long. When I move the slider to 2x, you'll notice that the length of the animation drops down to 3 seconds, making it shorter.